Center exploded and the world watched in disbelief. Tonight, you share where you were. Also, who pooped in a Texas school gym? Yeah, it's a real story. And you are flooding us with comments on our social media network. Sun City by day, the city of lights by night. But have you noticed how those overpass arches downtown really aren't putting on a show anymore? Well, new tonight, they're back on. We'll take a look at the story that you're talking about as well. And coming up in your headlines, did last week's snowstorm result in the suspension of the Las Cruces Public Schools transportation chief? This comes as we are bracing for a lot of rain tomorrow. Nicole. And that's why we issued that first alert. We're tracking big changes to the forecast tomorrow night and through your weekend. Details coming up in Storm Track Weather. I was about to step off camera and clear my throat there, Nicole. All right, this is all coming up next on ABC 7 at 9. Get ready. You become part of the day's news right now. Hello, everybody. This is ABC 7 at 9. Thanks so much for joining us here. I'm Bob Harp. <clears throat> I think I got the frog out of my throat. Nicole, well, a lot of social media buzz tonight. Nicole, you always help us put it together. I couldn't come up with an awesome name today, so I'm just going to say the wonderful social media expert. <laughs> Nicole, how you doing? Uh, I think I like goddess better, but you that like will goddess? do today. Okay, yes. well, got to change it up, you know. Uh, yes, I know you do. And you become a part of the show. The reaction to the day's news is the story. Join the ABC7 social media network right now, and that's how you do it, right there. All right. Thanks so much, Nicole. And, of course, the weather. It is a big story tonight, Nicole, just like you. And the Storm Track Weather Team forecast. Uh, we had another gorgeous day in the borderland today. T-shirt weather and shorts, right? But that's what folks back east are dealing with quite a different story. Now, everybody's talking about what the folks back east are doing, and that was Las Cruces' video uh, from last week when the snow hit. Then it was warm again. Now we're talking about rain. Nicole, we are all over the place weather-wise. That is why you have that first alert in effect tonight. So what is going on? Well, this afternoon it was beautiful, Bob. Temperatures in the 70s, as you mentioned. People could have walked around in shorts today. Temperatures were above normal. But we are tracking big changes to your forecast tomorrow. First, yeah. let's talk about what's taking place on our clouds and radar picture here. As you can see, we do have clouds moving in from the west. But we'll start to see those changes tomorrow. As far as any alerts, alerts are in, that are in place, we have a winter storm watch in effect for the Sacramento Mountains. And that's what we're dealing with as of now. But notice our temperatures nice and comfortable out there. 63 just outside of the studio, 58 Canutillo high today, 73. So we were pretty much in the 70s throughout the afternoon today. But here's what we're talking about. The reason we issued that first alert, Thursday night, rain chances will begin. We'll see steady rainfall Thursday through Saturday, and we'll also see periods of heavy rainfall through the weekend. So we'll talk about those details, Let's take a look at the latest future track computer model, talk about just how much rain we could possibly see tomorrow night through the weekend. That's all coming up. Give us a break, Nicole. I know you control the weather, right? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you are busy. Hey, we'll get to you in just a second, uh, Nicole, for all the social media buzz. But first, let's go ahead and get to the stories that you need to know before joining the discussions underway right now. New at 9, the Las Cruces Public Schools confirming that Larry Altamarino has been placed on administrative leave with pay. Now, LCPS not telling us why the transportation chief was placed on leave, only that it's a personnel matter. Now, Altamarino, Murano, excuse me, has worked with the district for 35 years. You might remember that his suspension comes after last week and the, deci the decision uh, to not cancel classes because of the snow. And New Mexico Department of Transportation spokeswoman saying that the district never even called for road conditions last Thursday. New Mexico State Police also saying the same. So if we get any more info on that, we will certainly let you know. A suspected killer is on the loose in southern New Mexico. Already, a 36-year-old Stephen Morales is said to be armed and dangerous, and he has not been caught yet. He allegedly killed a 22-year-old man in Silver City two weeks ago. Now, the sheriff's office there say Morales was passing through the Border Patrol checkpoint just south of Hatch when agents picked him for a secondary inspection. He then allegedly refused to stop and then sped away with a woman and two small children inside his SUV. Be. At times, he reportedly hit 100 miles an hour up I-25 until he eventually got away in Hatch, where that search is intensifying tonight. You also need to know, President Obama's administration now ordering immigration agents to ask people where they've encountered or they've encountered 
living in the country illegally, whether they might actually qualify under President Obama's plans to avoid deportation. Now, agents have reportedly been told to review government files to identify and jail immigrants. They might be able to release under the program. And also new information tonight about a woman who was killed after being hit by an SUV downtown yesterday. You need to know police have identified her as 73-year-old Alicia Mendoza. Now this happened at about noon yesterday near San Antonio in Oregon. Police say Mendoza was at a crosswalk when she was hit by that SUV driven by 70-year-old Mary Brubaker. And you also need to know it's been 29 years since Space Shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after liftoff from Cape Canaveral. All seven crew members, including school teacher Krista McCullough, were killed. Now, I asked you today to share where you were when that happened. Angelica writing us tonight saying, sixth grade in the library at Robert E. Lee. I will never forget. Susie comments, I was in my desk at work at Texas Instruments in McKinney, Texas. I was stunned and started scrambling to try to find a radio and something to relieve, receive news updates. And Tia commenting tonight, I was at home in El Paso, Texas with my nine-month-old son. Sad day. I most remember the school teacher that was part of the team. We will never forget them. And we have much more comments right now on our Facebook page. More than 100 of you shared your story. I have to say I was in second grade over at Fannin Elementary in Northeast El Paso and we were watching it live on television. I'll never forget that as well. Well there is a picture blowing up social media tonight showing a child who swallowed a SpongeBob pin. A doctor in Saudi Arabia is saying that he was shocked to find this on the x-ray. He said SpongeBob was looking at him right in the face with a big smile. Take a closer look on the CU on the CW page on Facebook. We have the full story and that incredible picture posted so you can take a closer look. Well, snowfall totals breaking records in some places. This time lapse video showing it piling up thousands of homes tonight, though still without power in New England. The airports, though, looking better tonight, not yet at 100%. 600 flights were canceled today compared to 8,000 yesterday and the day before. All flights in and out of El Paso seem to be on time. Before you fly out, get all the information you need at KVIA.com. And Nicole, ABC 7 and 9 is the only newscast in the borderland where folks at home can actually see themselves and see what they say all about the day's news. And you can, you can connect with ABC 7's newsroom and join a discussion on KVIA.com's Facebook page, news, news updates on Twitter, at ABC 7 Breaking. Then see you on The CW by sharing your comments and photos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's get right to tonight's social media buzz. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Nicole, this one has people talking. The city of El Paso uh, getting a makeover, as we know, just about every corner of town is seeing this from northeast to west to downtown. Now, from the sculptures over at the I-10 and airway overpass to these downtown, you might have noticed that the new multicolored lights, the ones that popped up three months ago, for a while they were flashing colors and dancing, if you will, uh, entertaining folks who drove by, but... For the most part, we haven't seen any of those LED light shows lately. They're now shining brightly with just one color. So ABC 7's Darren Hunt takes a closer look. You'll see it only on 7. All right, well, having some technical difficulties out there. We apologize for that. But anyway, uh, Nicole, we can just talk about this. Apparently, the whole story was simply that they were too distracting for the viewers. What do you say, first of all? Do you think they were distracting? They didn't distract me. I mean, <laughs> I think they became such a huge part of that area. It's going to be kind so. of weird to not see them there. That's you, just my opinion, though. But hold on. I have some news for you. New at 9 tonight, just a little <laughs> while ago. We believe it might be because of Darren's story, but we noticed that the lights are flashing again. We tried to get a, a, an angle of them from the textile traffic cameras. We really couldn't see them there. And even from our mountain cam, they're too far away. But trust me, if you drive by there tonight, you will see, uh, because the ones you see there, the 
bottom of your screen, oh, still you changing. can kind of see them changing. Yeah. Yes, but here is the update. We noticed that they actually weren't flashing red, green, or yellow. And that was kind of the confusion. Folks were a little worried that folks might slam on their brakes or, I don't know, go faster if they see a green light. I don't know. But we do have some comments uh, happening right now because the discussion is very hot on our Facebook page tonight. Let's go ahead and get to some of the comments. This one is from Nessa. How stupid do you have to be to get distracted by the lights? Okay, that's Nessa saying that, not me, Nicole. And, and I think we have <laughs> another one from Alvaro who says, as soon as El Paso starts looking good, people find something to screw it up. Yeah, so hey, what do you say about this? Let us know. This one uh, was an, uh, an anonymous one, if you will. Take them all down unless you want to be in a crash. So again, a divisive story. That's what people are talking about tonight in our social media network. Also, your forecast. We have that first alert in place. Hello, Nicole. Fill us in on the latest. Oh, boy. Get your umbrellas ready. Get your jackets ready. Hold on to your hats. Bob, we've got a lot going on here. We'll take a look at the latest models, talk about how much rain, just how strong the winds are expected to pick up, and temperatures are also dropping. So we've got a lot going on here, Bob. And, Nicole, it is all about you tonight, my friend. <laughs> I don't know, folks, if you know, there oh are boy. some pictures circulating of you, girl, oh, oh tonight on social media. I think I'm scared. Ah, uh, you might want to be just <laughs> kidding. All right, people asking all kinds of questions because of it. We'll show these Scandalous pictures? They're not scandalous. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We'll talk about that. I'm putting you on blast in a minute. Also, I'm still dealing with what happened with you last night, Nicole. Take a look. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, surprising you, teasing you. Having some audio problems tonight. Hey, but you know, it happens. That's live television. I hope to show you what's going on there. But if you missed it, Nicole pretty much put me in my place last night. <laughs> I tried to school her on hip-hop. I I helped you out a little bit. We're a team here. We are. Thank you, Nicole. <laughs> hey, also tonight, another hot story people are talking about. Uh, this one, it has people saying, like Claudia, for example, simply, ah. Julie, though, saying, no wonder they haven't been seen. And another one from Lavina. So am I the only pervert here thinking they look dirty? Oh, what is it? What is it? We'll take a look. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back.